In the 1800s, Florida was controlled by Spain. Spain has been controlling Florida from 1513. Florida has been made a refuge for pirates, smugglers, escaped slaves, and more. It first started when American farms down south and American settlements were gang raided by the Indian tribe Seminole. Because of the heat of confusion, slaves were able to run away from their owners south to Spanish Florida. Thank you for freeing us, sir. No problema, amigo. Eres bienvenido a Aloarte. I... I don't speak Spanish. Farmers complained about this and went to the president. In 1818, President Monroe ordered Andrew Jackson and his army to intervene with the raids. He chased the Seminoles away to stop the raids, and he pushed the Indians even more south to Spanish Florida. He didn't finish his mission, but he followed them into Spanish Florida. When he crossed over to Spain territory, he committed an act of war against Spain. Instead of turning back, Andrew Jackson invaded Florida. He took over several Spanish forts and hanged two British citizens, helping the Indians. Spain wanted Andrew Jackson punished for the invasion, but Spain's power was weakening. They knew they couldn't defend Florida, so they made a deal with America. In 1819, Spain agreed to give up Florida, and the U.S. paid $5 million to them in return. Also, the U.S. gave Spain Texas to govern. The positives of acquiring Florida were we did not have to fight Spain that much anymore. It turned to a slave state to make more money, and there was more land to settle in. The negatives were Native Americans kept fighting and we had to give up Texas.